Hey everybody, Don and Kel's uh, outdoor adventure again. <laughs> hey everybody. Yeah, everybody. Let's start over. Okay, you start talking, I'll <laughs> jump in. No, I like what you did. Okay. Howdy, howdy, howdy. <laughs> Uh, next. Nah. Uh, uh, well, here we are. I thought I got away from that with the wife. <laughs> All right. Uh, so here we are uh, on Bloody Basin Road, just turned off onto that from Seven Springs Road. We're going to be heading down to Sheep's Crossing, Sheep's Bridge. Yep. And uh, what do we come across here? Well, at our drop off point, this is an old cattle station, which is actually active still. And here's a scale that can weigh their cattle. Uh, I guess before they take them to market, it's kind of neat. So work. Thanks for visiting the cattle station. itself overlooking this area of bamboo right in the center of it 
about down there is the hot springs and it empties out I believe right about down there and it wouldn't surprise me because of the temperature it's probably keeping that little bay warm enough that catfish that are otherwise dormant in the winter are probably still active here in December we're gonna go down and check that out Wow, there's a lot of water. Oh, yeah. A lot of mud. Ah, oh, here it is. Nice. So it looks like we found a gauging station back here. Uh, there's some equipment up there and they use this marker over here to gauge the depth of the water. So I'm standing here and it's telling me that this is at 16 feet. And it goes all the way up to 27 feet way up there. Now that's amazing. If that uh, water ever got that high, that would be huge. over there it looks like there might be some stacked stone on there for an Indian uh, fortress so on the way back we've stopped and got the binoculars out and it looks like there might be something up there so we're gonna send the drone over there and see what we can find out So uh, Kel and I uh, put the drone out. We did see a wall up there, some ruins, and we're gonna uh, hike up there really quick before the sun goes down and see what we can discover. Um, I don't know if anybody's been up here, or at least that many people, possibly, but we'll see what we find. That's what makes this especially exciting. Yeah. Is that it's not something we saw from a map or were told about. Right. We just happened to be thinking about Indian ruins and where they might be, and we discovered this point. So this looks like a pathway that was built possibly by the Indians. Oh, there they are. I see them.
Pretty cool, huh? We're entering the fort. down here on this side up and over uh. oh, wow. uh. don't see any structures on the inside just fortification yeah Here's an exit. What's that? Yeah, look at this. 360 degrees. All of these trees that the seeds they eat. The jojobas. I mean, yeah, birds could have dropped them, but. There's a river right down there, so there's their water source. Cliffs over there. Wow. Yeah, interesting there. And then see. There's those trees, that's a creek. Here we are inside of uh, Indian ruins on the top of a mountain. No doubt the best view we've ever seen. Totally 360. And we didn't know about any map. Don saw some rock formation coming in at the top of the mountain that looked interesting. And now on our way out, we uh, took out the binoculars. It looked good. And he took out his drone and flew it over and then it confirmed it. It's a circular ring of stacked stones on the top of this really steep and hard to approach mountain. That pile we're looking at is over my head, so it's close to seven feet.
Hi guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the adventure. Hey, and don't forget to subscribe and share it with a friend.